the lethality. All their power is greater than ever. Their capacity to impose control over the politically awakened masses of the world is at a historical low. In earlier times, it was easier to control a million people than physically to kill a million people. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. Planes are sailing in uh, Britain and now other European countries. They're finding large amounts of explosives in France. Uh, Vladimir Putin, uh, who is known as Vladimir the Ruthless, and using all his profanity on national TV, you name it, we won't read the profanity here, uh, but we've got it. Uh, this person is on an unbelievable power trip and resembles a demon. He is a creature of the IMF and the World Bank and international communism. He is a former KGB head. And this information is vital, ladies and gentlemen. We are seeing the New World Order uh, really come out in full force. More wars than have been in the last 50 years are going on right now. The war in Chechnya is raging in Rosny with, well, reports of hundreds of thousands dying. Is that true, folks? Is there, are there more wars going on right now than in the last 50 years? Are there hundreds of thousands of people dying right now in Chechnya? Listen to this. This man is just making it up right out of his head as he goes along. Uh, 20 to 40,000 civilians trapped in the city. Russian hinds are being shot down. Tanks are being blown to bits. Uh, massive, uh, broad, unguided rocket attacks are being launched on the city indiscriminately right now. Air and artillery bombardments as well. Uh, it's absolutely out of control. It is pandemic, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's just a big, huge show. What we are shown uh, is just literally on a screen, and that's what we're seeing. Anything that exists outside the frame, we don't know anything about. So, Alex Jones goes on this rant, explaining the truth. He did a very, I mean, it was one, it was, the, I give him credit, but I'm going to give him a challenge too. Alex, I know that we've spoken many times, and um, you know how my feelings are about your efforts, now knowing that uh, there's some very questionable things about your reputation that I would have to question after I did some research and I would love for one day you to address the entire situation about why you decided to scare the world uh, lie basically constantly lie in the early days you seem to have uh, been looking for ratings I guess but certainly the war of the world's broadcast on uh, December 31st 1999 is historic William Cooper exposing you and a lot of the people you work with Anthony J. Hilder was on my show and Len Horowitz and Sherry Kane who you stole from them their, their product ideas uh, there's a lot of bad things you've done my friend so to make face and to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do um, it's obviously a ploy. Why are you still alive? Well, because if they killed me, it's a martyr. Well, well, they killed William Cooper, and he is a martyr. Because anybody who's a true liberty person, true person for freedom and liberty, and a true truth seeker knows that you're a shill, Alex Jones. And I'm giving you a challenge. To go back to the early days when you used to wear a suit and tie in your little Access TV show. And put on that nice suit and tie and go on these shows and actually have a professional interview where supposedly you guys are, you know, obviously they're attacking you and you're not in, this. there's certainly not a scripted thing, obviously not, um, and I'm not making fun of that, It's but certainly I, I think you guys are on the same team. Prove to me and the world, Alex Jones, that you're not on the same team as the enemy. After all, Mike, Mark Dice uh, bashes you, comes out about you being all this a liar and all this next thing you know you're 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 doing he's on your show again so the same thing you did with jesse ventura and uh, on the jesse ventura show where you bash david ike and then you're his buddy again i mean it's a game it's a it's a show and the sheep are buying it the awake sheep the people that actually think that they know what that they're awake and that they you know they, they're getting the truth from you and it's a shit, it's a, absolutely, it's, a, it's, it's disgusting, it's a sin. And to make face, go on television and fess up in your suit and say, 
I did Panic the World on December 31st, 1999, and I'm sorry. I was young and foolish. I have been paid by the CIA, NSA, or whatever organization is actually funding you to deceive the American people, and then you'll have a bullet in your head. But then, we'll have the truth. Thank you for watching Truth Talk News. I'm Howard Nima.